Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and happy February. I thought I would sit down and do a fun, a little different type of video, at least for my channel. I'm trying to experiment with doing new things this year, and one of them is candle planning. So every month, I want to sit down and really think about what am I going to burn this month? And I know especially January, February, sometimes even March, it can be a little bit like what do I burn? I'm over the holiday fragrances, but I'm not quite ready for spring and summer. And what really am I leaning towards? So I was looking through my candle stash and I have a lot of Kringle candles currently. So February is really going to be a Kringle candle focused month. I love my Kringle candles. It's no surprise. I am a Kringle candle ambassador, but I'm a Kringle candle ambassador because I love the brand. And I picked six, seven, eight, nine candles that I want to work through during this month of February, which is a shorter month. It is a leap year though, so there is one extra day, but I really wanted to uh, pick some candles out that I thought would be good for February, where there's going to be some cold days, but there's also going to be some warm days. I know on Sunday here, it's supposed to be like 50 some degrees. So there's like a good variety of things here that I really want to burn this month. So I wanted to sit, share with you guys what I'm going to burn this month. And if they're still available, definitely check them out. Use my code. You can save 15%, but let's get into it. With All right. Starting with the three wicks, I picked three. The first one I did was Mon Amour. So Mon Amour is Vanilla Orchid, Crimson Blooms, Sugar Crystals, Star Jasmine, Caramel Strands, Oak Moss, Red Amber, Gilded Musk, and Sandalwood. It's a lot, but Mon Amour is their dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, which is such a great fragrance. And I feel like this is an amazing transitional scent. It's one of their three wick, 100% soy candles. I don't need to talk about the burns because they are amazing. And I know when I pick a Kringle candle, I will have a great burn every single time from top to bottom. So I wanted to pull out a Mon Amour. Yeah, if you like perfumey fragrances, if you like sweet, almost like candy-like fragrances, Mon Amour is beautiful. I love the packaging, and I thought this is a great transition fragrance for February. Next, I also picked Citrus and Sage, which I thought for my kitchen would be great. These three wicks are just so beautiful. They have the hammered metal lids, and they have painting 360 degrees. And Citrus and Sage is citrus, clove, floral, patchouli, sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It smells just like Yankee Candles, um, sage and citrus. Great. Definitely a good um, kitchen fragrance if you like that bright citrus, if you like the earthiness from the sage. I think this one will be a really great kitchen scent for this time of year. Really fresh. I used to burn sage and citrus from Yankee all the time when I was younger, so it's sort of like a nostalgic fragrance. Now, going back... To the two wicks, I also pulled out herbs and spices because I won't burn this every single day. I would like to switch them off, and I think herbs and spices is fun. There are no notes on here, but this guy is one of the two wick reserve candles, and this is really nice. It is definitely herbal, though, like straight up herbs, where this guy has that citrus note to tame down a little bit of the herb. This is straight up herbs. This is like you're chopping parsley, you're chopping thyme and mint and all of the things. It's really great though. It's really fresh. It's really green. And I think on like more warm days in the month, I'll want to gravitate towards this. Maybe crack the windows open a little bit and feel like you have that fresh outdoors, almost like a garden fragrance when you burn it. I'm really hoping, really hoping, knock on wood, that Kringle comes out with a tomato candle. Tomato candles are all the rage, especially in like the luxury candle world. And I think in the reserve line, having a tomato fragrance, 10 out of 10. Would, would love to see that from Kringle. Next for a three wick, I have Doe Nut Worry, which I just love. Love the name. I think it's super clever and fun. And we have all the donuts here. And the notes read baked donut, sweet sprinkles, slightly fruity, buttery, nutmeg, cinnamon, and creamy vanilla icing. This, this just smells like rich royal icing to me. I don't get 
a ton of like the yeasty bakery fragrance in here. I definitely get more of that rich vanilla cream. And I thought, especially when I melt my wax, if I'm melting any bakery fragrances, I can burn this candle along with it and really just add like an extra layer of creamy, buttery bakery goodness. So I have that one. And speaking of bakery, I have macaroons. Yes, it is a macaron, but it's named macaroons. I did not get the macaroons, the new version, the sweet macaroons or the sweet cream. Those sold out. So as soon as they do come back into stock, I'm definitely picking them up. But this is nice. This is like a strawberry macaroon. If you are familiar with these cookies, they're like an almond cookie. They are delicious. I love macarons. And this smells like a strawberry one. Light, light bakery. It actually would be nice to like burn one of these in one room and one of the other to add like a creamy vanilla to it. But I think this is fun. I think this is a fun packaging for February because it's a little fun. You're getting into fruity for the spring and summer, but you still have those warm bakery elements. Mm. Love macaroons. Next, we have Dalgona. I am in the mood for coffee fragrances every once in a while. So having a coffee fragrance in rotation is really nice. And this has a picture of like a whipped coffee. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like, okay, it does smell like coffee, but whipped with lots of sugar and lots of vanilla. It is a very rich bakery coffee fragrance. It is so good. If you know Paris Cafe from Bath & Body Works, this is definitely toned down a lot more, but still a strong coffee, not like hit you in the face. And oh, it's so good. And I think burning a coffee candle on like a Sunday morning for the first few hours of the day really just sets the mood. So I wanted to pull this out and this is from last year. So I wanna definitely burn it up and use it and see what I think, cause I haven't burned it yet. Next, we have Vanilla Rose Cone. I am a sucker for all rose fragrances, so I pulled this one out of my stash to burn during February because <sighs> roses are great for the time for spring, but I think having it just a little bit early mixed with those bakery notes, again, is going to allow me to have a nice smooth transition into a lot more of those straight up florals. Like I have a lot of straight up florals from Kringle that I'm saving for the spring months. So I wanna burn this now to ease my way into it. This I think will be great in the bedroom, like a pure bedroom fragrance. You have that light, fresh rose petal with a warm bakery of the vanilla cone. Really an interesting combo, but delightful. Really, really enjoy that one. Next, I picked Royal Cherries. This is very similar to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. The label is so fun and I just love it. I have never been one to enjoy cherry fragrances, but recently I have grown to really enjoy them. And Royal Cherries is up there on my list. It is sweet cherry, but you do have that like perfumey, dark, mysterious, like sandalwood notes in there. It's really great. And as you can tell from even my choices, I'm a sucker for the reserve wine. I think it really fits my motive, my motive, my motif in my house, my aesthetic. I really like them. And I don't know if you can tell, uh, it's hard. Uh, you can tell right here. These are the newer pours that actually have the translucent glass. Not all of them do. So I'm trying to burn through my older reserve candles also that are pure black um, jars, whereas these ones are more translucent and they're super fun. I love the look of these as they burn down because you really can see the flame. So pulled Royal Cherries. And then last but not least, I pulled one of the regular Kringle candles in Tea Time. I thought this is another really great kitchen or dining room fragrance. It's like a spiced lemon tea, really a true hot tea fragrance. It smells like it's been steeping in hot water. It's really great. I really like it, but I haven't burned it. I haven't had the time, or I wasn't really sure when I wanted to burn it. So I think for this transition month of February, I am going to pull it out and burn it. And oh, I'm obsessed with the label. It's very fun. I actually think burning tea time in one room and Mon Amour in the other to give that Paris vibe with a label. So 
really fun. I just wanted to make this super short video just to showcase what I am burning in February. Let me know what Kringle candles you're checking out in February. Have you gotten any new ones? Have you gotten sweet cream or sweet macarons? I'm dying to get my hands on those. And when the four wicks eventually launch, I cannot wait. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.